cold chill and the smell of snow was in the air. The clouds hung heavy over the Hudson Valley that day, ready to drop a shroud of white powder upon the earth. It seems as though whenever it snowed, old Gaylord's bones ached to the point that he felt ornery all day long. It was bad enough he was still working on a job he should have quit ten years before, collecting and hauling scrap metal, but now with the snow coming he just plain hurt. I remember that Christmas Eve when Gaylord was at my shop in his old pickup truck loaded down with wood scrap from my carvings. I brought a wooden bear out left over from my Christmas sales and put it in the back of his truck and I told him to give it to somebody as a gift. I can still see him driving off grumbling with his bald tires slipping on the frozen pavement. Gaylord was thinking to himself how this year him and Geraldine would spend Christmas Eve alone. He was thinking how it used to be when the kids were still young and at home, how they would laugh and sing and play games in anticipation of Christmas morning and the giving of gifts. But that was many years ago, back in the good old days. Now Gaylord was driving up into the highlands, and when he came around a turn he hit a patch of ice and started sliding. Gaylord was all over the road, eventually running off into a ditch in a snowbank. He got out to evaluate the situation where his truck was buried up to the wheel wells in snow. The wood was strewn out all over the ground and the little chainsaw bear I gave him was propped up in a mound of snow underneath a pine tree. Gaylord got his shovel out and started to dig. Just another hard job before he could go home that night. Now off to the side was a little boy in his front yard, Kyle Williams. He saw everything. How that funny man came sliding around the corner, losing control, and eventually crashing into the snowbank, with the wood flying out of the truck. Kyle thought it was fantastic. It looked like a car crash on TV. When this happened, Kyle was in the front yard building a snowman with his little plastic shovel, and waiting for his daddy to come home. Kyle's mother didn't have the heart to tell him his father would never come home again. While Gaylord was digging the wheels out of the snow, Kyle went over to see what was going on. What you doing, mister? Now Gaylord, in no mood for explaining the obvious to a five-year-old child, just said, shoveling snow. Kyle thought that was cool. Can I help? And Kyle jumped down into the ditch next to the old man and started digging as fast as he could. Gaylord was moved and had to stand back and watch for a while. It did Gaylord's heart good to see the little boy work, to see his energy, selflessness, and enthusiasm. Before you knew it, those two had that truck shoveled out up on the driveway with all the wood loaded back into it. When Kyle looked over and saw the chainsaw bear underneath the pine tree, he burst out, you got one of those bears? I'd like to have one. Maybe my daddy will bring me one home for Christmas tonight. Now Gaylord remembered what I asked him to do. So he asked the boy, you want that bear? He could see Kyle's eyes open up. You can have it. Suddenly Kyle's face had a grin on it from ear to ear. I love that bear. That's the best bear in the world. I'll take care of that bear forever. As Kyle's mother watched out the window, she could see the two of them standing there in the dusk with the snowflakes falling down around their heads shaking hands in an agreement of friendship. Now those two would remember that moment for the rest of their lives as they would reflect back every Christmas to that special time they shared with each other. And three gifts were given that day. One to the old man who was refreshed to see the energy and giving spirit of the little boy. The second to the little boy who found a friendship with a man who would help guide and counsel him through the growing years. And last of all, there was that chainsaw bear. <laughs>